Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 114. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Magic Tricks 107 to 119. Hey, in this video, we want to look at the Get Pivot Data function. Here's a data set, field names, records. We have some sales reps and some sales. Here's a little pivot table I already made. Let's go ahead and what I want to do is scroll over here. And in this cell, I want to add bins and red sales. So there's bins. It's adding them all up from, this is a pivot table, right? And red. So let's just see what happens when we do this. Equals this. Whoa, look at that. When you click on a cell inside a pivot table, you get to get pivot data function. It says, hey, I want to um, look at sales, and it's going to add them. It needs a way to know where the pivot table is, and it always looks in the upper left corner. And it says sales rip, and there's the criteria. So that's the get pivot uh, data. Now we're going to say plus and click on red. And so there's another one. There's the sales that we're going to sum. There's the pivot table. Uh, there's the field, and that's the criteria. Uh, now, let's hit enter. Um, actually, let's click back up there and hit F2. What I really want to do is I want to highlight this, that bin, and click right there. And then I want to highlight this and click that red. I want this uh, function actually uh, linked to these so we could type in some new names and add up just two peoples in a formula. Now I'm going to control enter and I'm going to copy it down. Whoa! Click back up here. We forgot to lock this. I'm going to click in that cell right there and hit F4 twice because I'm going to uh, lock it going down. I'm going to click right here in F4 one two times because I'm going to lock it going down. Control Enter and then copy it down. Oh, whew, see those didn't move down like that. Now uh, I want to see what happens when I change this to a different name. Oh, there's an error. And so I want to show you how to uh, add something to this formula, this get pivot data formula, so don't, we don't get that error. We get a blank if you type in or uh, something. So I'm going to hit F2 here. And now we're going to do it uh, 2003 and then a 2007 formula. We're going to say if uh, is error. is error uh, and then come to the end of this whole pivot table and put a parenthesis so is that an error and actually we're going to need all of that right there control c is that an error if it is what do we want comma double quote double quote for blank otherwise and then i'm going to control v and put the whole rest of that and then a close parenthesis so right at the end it needs a close parenthesis Control Enter. Now that'll work. Now in 2003, there's a new function uh, if error. So I'm going to hit F2. And I'm simply a uh, much better way to do this if you have 2007 if error. And that way, it just looks at the value. If it's not an error, it plops whatever the result from the get pivot data is. If it's an error, we got to come to the end and tell it what it is. Comma, and then the error, if that's an error, we're going to say double quote, double quote for blank, close parentheses. Now, if we come up here and type chin, it works. Now, one other thing about um, the get pivot data function, lots of people don't like it. It's annoying. So let me show you how to turn it off. In 2007, you go to uh, the orb, and then way down at the bottom is I don't think I can get this on the screen. You click on the orb, and then there's Excel options. And under formulas on the left, you, get, you check or uncheck this. I'm going to uncheck this. And now when you say equals this plus this, you do not get that get pivot data. Now in 2003, you have to add a button to the toolbar. And there's instructions because it's pretty uh, a bunch of steps. But there it is. If you want to download this, you can easily add the button to turn that off. All right, we'll see you next trick.